Foundation has been a great avenue for us to reach students that we want to teach through our environmental programs and to help us provide for teachers and classrooms through the grant programs here at the Foundation. I am also excited, obviously, to be your MC for today as we give away $120,000. Thank you very much.
How about another round of applause for Palmetto High School varsity cheerleaders and drum roll. I was getting ready to ask Ms. Harvey to get up here and show us how it's done when the drum line was out here. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask you to please stand for the presentation of colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem performed by, Palm by Palmetto High School senior Michael Delgado. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. This morning we have several elected officials with us, including our new superintendent of schools, Mr. Rick Mills. We have several school board members, Chair Karen Carpenter. Mr. Bob Gauze with us this morning. I don't see Bob here. Um, Miss Barbara Harvey. And Mr. David Watchdog Minor. <laughs> Deputy Superintendent Dr. Diana Green is also with us today. <laughs> and representing the County Commission proudly is County Commissioner John Chappie. Right over here to my right. A few other folks we'd like to recognize this morning. I'd like to ask all members of the Manatee Education Foundation Board of Direct Directors to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> and now please welcome Mr. Ross Hodges, Chairman of the Manatee Education Foundation Board of Directors. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out this morning. I also like to thank all the students who really took uh, uh, that last uh, valuable vacation summer day to come out to be with all of us this morning. And that's a huge commitment on their time. And I'd like to thank them on behalf of the Education Foundation for uh, being here today. Thank you, teachers, for being here. And thank you also for, for uh, Palmetto High School for hosting this event today. As the new chairman of the uh, Manatee Education Foundation, I plan to continue the good works of our executive team and our great board members that we have, the men and women of this community, uh, and uh, their dedication and leadership that they have, uh, that they have demonstrated. Uh, we also like to thank you for raising your hands and letting us know as a foundation what you need in your classrooms for your students. And uh, I know it's just a little bit uh, that you asked for from us, and we wish we could do a lot more, but we uh, really appreciate and we are 
it's our pleasure to uh, present to you uh, a little bit of a token of our uh, sponsorships from our business communities and our business partners that work to benefit our community to make sure the dollars uh, that we have get to you and to the children in your classes. As we build a positive partnerships in our community, uh, we hope to continue to build a better programs in our school district, and we thank you and all of our business partners for allowing that to happen. So thank you again, and have a great time today, and we appreciate uh, everything that you do in the classroom for our children. Thank you. Okay, now get ready for the cute factor. We are pleased, we are honored actually, to have join us today the Rowlett Elementary School Boys Choir and their director, Mr. Dave Walters, as they perform America the Beautiful. And they have been waiting very patiently for a while, I have to tell you. The Rowlett Boys Choir and their director, Dave Walters. Great job. Now please welcome a woman who I believe needs no introduction, the executive director of the Manatee Education Foundation, Mary Glass. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you for being our MC today. And what an exciting day for the teachers that are here. We're really pleased to, just in a few minutes, be uh, giving away some much needed support that you've asked for. But I wanted to just make a comment about the Boys Choir. We wanna thank Dave Walters and the Boys Choir. That's been a long-term partnership with the foundation. We helped them with their jackets uh, a few years ago and had them play, and ever since then, we really enjoy having them at events. So thank you again. We're pleased to give out almost 200 grants this morning at the beautiful Palmetto 
Auditorium. We're able to do this through the generous partnerships with our community and business partnerships, businesses engaged in giving back to our teachers and our students through the Classroom Grants Program. We hope you enjoy this wonderful experience of helping our teachers. And I just want to give you a couple examples of some of the grants. Kim Carter and Melissa Bates and Nicole Caston's kindergarten classes at Stewart Elementary will have a common core reading club. Also, Angela Dis Distelhurst is creating a planetarium in a classroom of eighth graders. Grants are rewarded for activities to better understand complex and abstract concepts relating to energy transfers in Caitlin Fulgram's fourth grade classes at Tillman Elementary. Whether it's literacy or STEM, arts and culture, health and fitness, or the environment, the majority of the grants this year align with the new Common Core standards. Thank you, teachers, for all you do every day to prepare our students in the classroom and the workforce for tomorrow. I also want to take a moment and thank Tricia McKay Powers, Development Director for the Foundation. Tricia, Tricia, come out and take a bow. Not only for her excellent organizational skills, but everything that she has helped to create for the foundation over the last few years. Thank you, Tricia. The teacher workroom in building one. Thank you. Okay. So with that, I'm going to give it back to Jackie and we'll begin the grant ceremony. At this time, I would like to invite Superintendent Rick Mills and the Executive Board of the Manatee Education Foundation, including Ross Hodges, Gary Huggins, and Harry Canan, to the front of the stage, please, just down here to my right, to begin the grants presentation. We ask that you please hold your applause until the end of each category of grants and grant recipients. Teachers, if you have any questions about your grant check after you receive it, too bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please see Carol Lewis at the back of the auditorium. Also, make sure to stop by the photo area as soon as you receive your grant to have your photo taken with your grant sponsor. Please also welcome Dr. Zada Bazi, the music teacher at Onego Elementary and Manatee County's 2012-2013 Educator of the Year, Dr. Bazzi will start us off with the distribution of the Ready for School Rally Grants. And I'm just going to ask the members of the board here to step down just a little bit. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here this morning at the rally. Representing Bright House Networks, please welcome MEF board member Linda Shurga Demotowski and Community Relations Manager Leah Brown. Contributions from Bright House Networks has made the following STEM grants possible. Sharon Ackerman, Tillman Elementary. Donata Cox from Tillman Elementary. Meg Gibbons, Tillman Elementary. Michelle Zeppa, Tillman Elementary. Kate Nordstrom, Wakeland Elementary. Kim Roberson Hoy, Wakeland Elementary. How about a big round of applause for our STEM grant recipients? Bank of America is a longtime partner of the Manatee Education Foundation. The Bank of America Foundation has recently restructured their giving to focus on career and workforce education. Please welcome Deborah Corrigan with Merrill Lynch to represent Bank of America and distribute checks to Ms. Diana Dill of the Take Stock in Children program for mentor kits and Ms. Ms. Trish Litton to receive funds for equipment at the Palmetto High School and Southeast High School Engineering and Construction Academies. Thank you. 
The Consortium of Florida Education Foundations provides matching state funds to the Manatee Education Foundation for the Classroom Grants Program. The following grants have been made possible by the Consortium's contribution. Lisa Failing, Bayshore High. Deborah Spencer, Blackburn Elementary. Dr. David Katz, Braden River Elementary. Cheryl Meehan, Freedom Elementary. <laughs> Sandra Stiles, Johnson Middle. Don Giddens, King Middle. Rebecca Stansney, Lee Middle. Judy Kelly, Miller Elementary. <laughs> Kelly Warren, Oniko Elementary. Troy Schroeder, Palmetto High. <laughs> Kathy Campbell, Southeast High. Barbara Kenny, Southeast High. Deborah Gallery, Stewart Elementary. Kathleen Lyons, Wakeland Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> Kendall Carrier, Braden River High. Angela Williams, Tillman Elementary. Carrie Kushwa, Braden River High. How about a big round of applause for all of our grant recipients in this category? The following grants have been made possible by the Enterprise Holdings Foundation. Megan Dershmer, Bayshore Elementary. Patricia Goff, Bayshore Elementary. Marion Dunn, Braden River Elementary. Athena Jansen, Hale Middle. Michelle Thompson, Braden River Elementary. And let's congratulate these grant recipients with a round of applause. Please welcome MEF board member and executive director of the Early Learning Coalition, Mr. Paul Scharf. The ELC has made grants possible for the following pre-kindergarten teachers. Tao Lei, Daughtry Elementary. Diane Phillips, Oniko Elementary. Kathy Kushmer, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. <laughs> and Joan Roth, Witt Elementary. Let's congratulate all of our pre-kindergarten grant recipients.
The Phil Galvano Classic is an annu annual tournament hosted by the Galvano family to benefit the teachers and students of the Manatee County Schools through the Manatee Education Foundation's grants program. The following teachers received grants through the proceeds from this year's tournament. Mary Beth Kroom, Bashaw Elementary. Kathleen Brown and Patricia Sisson, Braden River Middle. Dan Crumpler, Braden River High. Elizabeth Applegate, Daughtry Elementary. Candace Curtis, Daughtry Elementary. <laughs> Melissa Walls, Daughtry Elementary. Joe McNaughton, School District of Manatee County. <laughs> Amy Bain, Hale Middle. Tracy Bullman, Hale Middle. Tanya Rodriguez, Hale Middle. Hollis Bostick, Johnson Middle. Suzanne Gerald, Johnson Middle. Patrick Meehan, Johnson Middle. Deborah Peters, Johnson Middle. Mary Sue Bauer, McNeil Elementary. Kathy Kimes, McNeil Elementary. Denise Touchberry, McNeil Elementary. Rebecca Boyce, Miller Elementary. <laughs> Colleen Cosgrove, Miller Elementary. Lori Degatti, Miller Elementary. Catherine Houston, Miller Elementary. Patty Schneider, Miller Elementary. Georgia Tate, Miller Elementary. Danielle Battaglia, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. <laughs> Annette Sousa, Palmasola Elementary. Annette. Let's congratulate all of the grant recipients. The Lockheed Martin Corporation is a dedicated partner in education of the Manatee Education Foundation, making strides in our schools to engage our students in technology and engineering through STEM programs. Lockheed Martin has made grants possible for the following teachers at Daughtry Elementary School. Casey Broski, Takela Crenshaw, Sean Doberly, Duane Foster, Ashley Fox, Shayla Kelly, Jacqueline Linder, Daryl Mc Daryl McCormick, <laughs> 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 
Danielle Owens. Joan Schumacher. Charlie White. Rebecca Zion. Congratulations to these teachers from Daughtry Elementary. The Manatee Education Foundation holds several annual fundraisers to raise funds for their many programs, including the classroom grants. The grants have been made available with proceeds from these fundraising events to these following teachers. Kara Banks, Mills Elementary. Rhonda Russell, Freedom Elementary. <laughs> Melissa Bates, Stewart Elementary. Brenda Butler, Stewart Elementary. Aaron Fall, Stewart Elementary. Sarah Lynch, Stewart Elementary. Carrie Lasada, Tara Elementary. Colleen Henderson, Mills Elementary. Catherine Tureen, Mills Elementary. Ashley Grimes, Wakeland Elementary. Lisa Sherp, Willis Elementary. Congratulations to these classroom grant recipients. The Allegiance Racing Team for F1 in schools at Southeast High School, Diana Dill for the Take Stock in Children's program. Please welcome Mr. Vernon DeSeer of Manatee Memorial Hospital. Oh. <laughs> Vernon is a longtime member of the Manatee Education Foundation Board of Directors, and Manatee Memorial is a partner in education. Vernon will be assisting in the distribution of health and science grants possible for the following teachers. Barbara Stocco, Ballard Elementary. Patricia de Gonzaga, Bashaw and Freedom Elementary. <laughs> Linda Helton, Daughtry Elementary. Warren Bell, Palmasola Elementary. Brittany Taylor, Sug Middle. Reba Johns, Wakeland Elementary. Congratulations. Okay. Big round of applause for our grant recipients. Please welcome Mr. John Filato with Mosaic Company to assist in the next grant distribution. Thank you. 
Mosaic is a wonderful partner in education with the foundation, providing for many science and environmental programs, including field trips to the Florida Aquarium, curriculum supplies, and more. Mosaic has made environmental grants available for the following teachers. Larissa Bennett, Blackburn Elementary. Catherine Day, Bayshore Elementary. Terry Zimmerly, Bayshore Elementary. Claudia Keckler, Daughtry Elementary. Rhonda Mao, Freedom Elementary. Leslie Tyler, Lee Middle. Kimberly Lowe, Lincoln Middle. Diane Hamilton, Manatee High. Congratulations to the Environmental Grants recipients. That's it for me. Do you want me to call the Racing King now? Okay. We'd like to welcome the Allegiance Racing Team for the F1 in schools at Southeast High School. Will the Racing Team please come up and receive their grant? We didn't want to miss you guys. We saw you sitting back there. Yay, racing team! Well, it's no question the teachers in this auditorium know how important these grant dollars are to your classrooms. And the Manatee Education Foundation knows that it's as well. That's why it works so hard all year round to make this one day possible. But it is always helpful for the community and business people here today who may not be as in tune with the grant process and the needs in the classroom to hear some of these stories and the difference that a few hundred dollars can make in the course of a child's education in the, in the case of a teacher's classroom throughout an entire school year. On that note, please welcome Danielle Owens, a teacher from Daughtry Elementary, to share her experience with the Ready for School Rally Grants Program. short. Um, I'd first like to thank the Manatee Educational Foundation for their continuous efforts in my classroom personally um, from my first year till now my seventh year. Um, I couldn't have done what I've done with the children without, without their help. Um, I'd also like to clear up um, something that just a few years ago I had no idea existed, um, the STEM. A lot of you out there are like, what's STEM? Um, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And um, at my school, what we did is we took um, the engineering lab and created it last year. And they picked me to, to teach it, so it was such an honor. Um, first day I walked in thinking, what am I going to have? I don't have anything in my classroom. I taught first grade. Um, what am I going to have to teach an engineering lab? And to my surprise, there was an enormous amount of boxes of things that I had to go through. It took me weeks to open. And I asked the science coach, where did all this come from? Did you guys have this money at Daughtry, a Title I school? And he said, no, um, it came from the Manatee Educational Foundation and the, the scholarships that they got. And the teachers that wrote them were gracious enough to give the money to the engineering lab. And so I was just, at that point, so thankful I was in the right place. Um, and this year, I asked the teachers again to help me write the grants to help sponsor the engineering program because every year it changes. And so this year, I had 
maybe 11, 12. If you wrote a grant for the Daughtry Engineering Program, please stand up if you're out there. It's mostly the donors and because you guys took the time to write the grant for your students for the engineering lab. And so I thank you guys for showing up today when I know you could have been somewhere else to, um, for, for your students and for the engineering lab to make it a success. So thank you and thank you Manatee Educational Foundation. I'm going to ask our VIPs to step back up here for a second, get back to the, to, the, to the check deliveries. To announce the second half of the grant presentations, please welcome Dr. David Katz, the music teacher at Braden River Elementary School, and also a Rally grant recipient today. Thank you so much for letting me share in this special day with you. At this time, I would like everyone in the audience, teachers included, who participate in the Manatee Education Foundation's Partner in Payroll Deduction Program to please stand. Your direct deposit contributes, um, the contributions you give from each of your paychecks to the Manatee Education Foundation has funded 35 grants today. Your commitment to this program is echoed in the foundation's motto, if everyone gives a little, the kids will gain a lot. Please give yourselves a round of applause. We sincerely thank you for your contribution. And please take your seats as we award grants to the following teachers. Wanda Bush, Miller Elementary. Victoria Elzer, Miller Elementary. Jan Jadon, Miller Elementary. Janelle Katzenberger, Miller Elementary. Lourdes Lindenauer, Miller Elementary. Susan Olson, Miller Elementary. Carrie Stanley, Miller Elementary. Justin Umla, Miller Elementary. Caleb Benham, King Middle. Ellen Binder, King Middle. Vicki Cunningham, King Middle. Ashley Bauer, Lee Middle. Dana Moreau, Lee Middle. Patricia Ruggiero, Lee Middle. Bonnie Pinkerton, McNeil Elementary. Debbie Brady, Miller Elementary. Tessa Martin, Miller Elementary. Amy Murray, Miller Elementary. Camilla Nicholas, Miller Elementary. Chris Randlett, Miller Elementary. Elaine Baker and Robin Harrington, both from Mills Elementary. Amy Mizell, Mayaka Elementary. Linda Taylor, Mayaka Elementary. Anne Deach, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. Alana Enderley, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. And Lorraine Miller from Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. Holly Oler, Palmetto High School. 
Carrie LaBoy, Prine Elementary. Tiffany Dubois, Rowlett Elementary. Barbara Biancardi, Seabreeze Elementary. Karen Bellinger, Stewart Elementary. Kim Carter, Stewart Elementary. And Nicole Caston from Stewart Elementary. The Pittsburgh Pirates and the Bradenton Marauders are a very valuable partner of the foundation. Trevor Gooby, Senior Director of Florida Baseball Operations for the Pirates, is a member of the Executive Committee of the Foundation. The Pirates and the Foundation work on many projects together, including Education Day with the Marauders, Back to School Night, Mentor Programs, and Heart and Soul, to name a few. The Pirates' annual Black and Gold Game raises funds for Rogers Gardens and Wakeland Elementary Schools, and the game also provides funding for the Ready for School Rally Grants. Please welcome Ann Putnam, Coordinator of Sales and Business Operations with the Pirates, to help present grants to the following teachers. Sue Sitzma, King Middle School. Carrie Walden, King Middle School. Gretchen Hatton, Oniko Elementary School. Andrea Coe, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. Nuris Fanning, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. Marjorie Weiss, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. And Katherine Hunter from Palmetto High School. Publix Supermarket Charities has been an avid supporter of the school district of Manatee County and a partner in every neighborhood. Publix has made the following grants possible. Beth Wallach, Orange Ridge Bullock Elementary. <laughs> Leah Brett, Palmetto High School. Kimberly McAfee, Rowlett Elementary, Andrea Disselhurst, Sug Middle School, Valerie Montgomery, Sug Middle, Chuck Routier, Sug Middle, Karen Cobb, Tillman Elementary, Caitlin Fulgham, Tillman Elementary. Clifford Lim, Tillman Elementary. Kieran Pendergrass, Tillman Elementary. And Tamika Williams from Tillman Elementary. Please welcome Lori Mirandella, Regional Vice President, and Scott Callison, Local Branch Manager of Suncoast Schools Federal Credit Union, to join us in the grants. Suncoast Schools Federal Credit Union 
is a platinum partner of the Manatee Education Foundation, participating in the Classroom Grants Program, Heart and Soul, and several other district programs. Suncoast Schools Federal Credit Union has made grants for the following teachers. Carol Heritage, Able Elementary. Caitlin Randlett, Bayshore Elementary. Darlene Schartz, Bayshore Elementary. Art Dershimer, Bayshore High School. Monica Preto, Bayshore Elementary. Christiana Sucker, Bayshore High School. Michelle Donowski, Braden River Elementary, Go Wranglers. <laughs> Deborah Hartline, Braden River High School. Mary Thompson, Braden River High School. Jensina Barnes, Daughtry Elementary. Mary Ann Cobb, Daughtry Elementary. Diana Idle, Daughtry Elementary. Takeda Hanks, Daughtry Elementary. Mary Himmler, Daughtry Elementary. Jackie Houston, Daughtry Elementary. Anne Jeffords, Daughtry Elementary. Janisha Patel, Daughtry Elementary. Olga Tharp, Daughtry Elementary. Kenzie Cleveland Freedom Elementary. Jennifer Dean Freedom Elementary. Shannon Dodge Freedom Elementary. Amanda Hurst Freedom Elementary. Kelly Jamisco Freedom Elementary. Natalie O'Neill, Freedom Elementary. Janice Pastoyov, Freedom Elementary. Chris Ann Phelps, Freedom Elementary. Diane Steed, Freedom Elementary. Barbara Pfeiffer, Gullet Elementary. Christine Clem, Hale Middle School. Ashley Fulmer, Hale Middle School. Sharice Maloney, Hale Middle School. Amy Poole, Hale Middle School. And Lauren Allen, Miller Elementary School. And on a day when we need to do so much and be in so many places. Let's give a round of applause for everyone who showed up to get their money today. Thank you. Congratulations. Well, no question, this has been a fantastic way to start the morning and hopefully an equally fantastic way to start the year. As one of the folks charged with the honor of reviewing many of these grants over the last few years, I want to personally say that your out-of-the-box thinking and your effort to go the extra mile with just a few extra dollars never ceases to amaze me and inspire me. So I want to say that I really appreciate all that you do, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone up here as well. Many of us up here, we look at it and we say we definitely have the easier job. So thank you. On that note, we definitely want to thank our gracious host today, Palmetto High Principal Willie Clark and Ms. Stacy Gray. A big thank you to them.
A big thank you to METV and Charles Clapsaddle and Phil Pfeiffer for helping us share our story today. Another round of applause for Mary Glass and Trisha McKay Powers for all their hard work make, making this happen. And be sure to check out our new website, the Manatee Education Foundation's new website for all the latest informa information and exciting activities going on throughout the year. We look forward to seeing all of you throughout the year. Appreciate you coming today, as David mentioned, and we hope you have a fabulous first day of school.